In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Milwaukee Fuel Multi-Tool. Let's jump into this video. All right, guys, as always, I love to use the 12 amp battery. The HD12 batteries are awesome for this. Uh, you don't necessarily need it for this tool. For this tool, you know, you're not really using a lot of power to cut things, but maybe you are. So, but we're using this battery anyways. This unit here is pretty neat. I like it. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that you can't take this and spin it the other way and store your bits like this. It just doesn't allow you to do it. That's the only thing I don't like about it. My old one was the Milwaukee. It wasn't the fuel one. I was able to store bits like this. It's just the way that it's designed. It's just this part here is a little too big. That's the only thing I don't like about this tool. Everything else about this tool, miles better than just the Milwaukee standard one or the non-fuel one, I should say. So that just finger tight into there and then this is what locks this blade in place here. It's got a light, little LED light at the front, which is really neat. So if you're in a dark spot, you can see what you're doing. And the other cool feature about this tool is that it has different settings. So you have your one, two, three, or so it goes, goes an even number, so two, four, six, eight, all the way up to 10. And then it has an automatic feature, which I love, and I actually just use it, I keep it in A all the time. So what that does is it starts it in low, and once it starts to feel resistance, it'll ramp up, and I'll show you guys how that works. We'll do a couple little cuts here, and I'll show you guys how it works in automatic. So you can hear it starts off, it's not too loud, but this thing does get pretty loud. I'd highly recommend this thing does get really loud. I, I'd recommend getting hearing protection, if, especially if you're in a small little area or if you're underneath a sink, you know, cutting out an access panel or something. That's usually where you use these tools for. So, or you use it for chipping, cutting out two by fours for like backing for like shower valves and stuff. I've done that a lot for. But definitely a, a helpful tool to have as a plumber. So let's dive into this. This is in automatic. So you can hear it. And I know that's really, really loud, but you can hear the tool just automatically go into kick, kick into high gear. I'll show you again. So, and through the gears, we'll start low. So you can see low would stay this position. And it still cuts the wood really good in low, as you can see. And then we'll turn it to 10, leave it in 10. Thing cuts wood like a hot knife through butter. That being said, when you are cutting this, be very careful that this doesn't go anywhere near your hands or your body or somebody else or something else uh, on the job that you might damage. So all in all, this is another tool that if you're a plumber, you should definitely be having this in your arsenal of tools. Uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. If you guys have any comments or any suggestions, or if you want to see any other videos like this one, let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.